Hello, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. You guys, come on. They put. I want to put this queen in my video footage, but she's up there just chilling. Look at her, y'all see her? Uh oh. She's chilling like a villain. Well, queen, you won't be able to get up there tonight. But you know, we feel your energy. All right, y'all. Hey, everybody, I need you all to come in and I need you all to quickly invite someone, quickly share this live stream. Um, thank you all so much for joining tonight. Um, so I need you all to just share. Make sure that if you uh, are watching, make sure that you share. If you're from Brunswick County, please share the live video. Um, I want to come on tonight because um, I am I am angry. Um, I'm very angry. I'm very upset, um, and so many emotions have uh, has been going through me since um, I attended the funeral of uh, Tyrant's Drakorn Bimbo on um, Sunday, and. Um, I, I came there to Brunswick County to really let the devil know that if they thought that Sunday was going to be the last day that we said, uh, Drake, uh, Duke's, I'm gonna say Duke, Duke's name, if they thought that you know, after Sunday that we were going to go in a hole. If they thought that after Sunday that we was just going to lay down, you know, our swords. If they thought that we was going to rest easy after Sunday. If they thought that we wasn't going to talk about it no more. If they thought that we was just going to go on about our little merry lives without addressing what has been going on. If they thought thought that Sunday was going to be it if they thought that we weren't going to keep fighting for justice because we're going to get justice. If that's what they thought, I came to tell the devil that you are a liar and the truth is not in you. We know that for a fact. The part, the problem is, is that they harassed him for years. They stalked him. They frivolously filed charges against him, uh, tried to give him a record, tried to destroy his name, tried to destroy his credibility. They tried everything that they could to take this king down. And the problem is, is that they have been busted. Right upside the head to the white me. They have been exposed. We see you for who you are. The crooked, corrupt sheriff's department. Brunswick County Sheriff's Department. Under the administration of uh, Sheriff John Ingram. Okay. If you thought, Sheriff, that this was over. You have another thing coming. The truth of the matter is, is that this is not over. OK, now let me say this to you all. There's information that is coming in. OK, there's a lot of information that is coming in from citizens um, in Brunswick County. OK, now let me say this. This is what we're going to do. OK, I need everybody right now. OK, everybody right now. I need you. To type in your comments, and I need you to tag the United the uh, United States Department of Justice, okay, right now. So I want to see people on this screen because we're gonna fight, okay? Because we're gonna get to the truth, and we're gonna know what really happened, okay? Because what they are saying happened is not what happened. Let me tell you this, okay? Duke did not run off no road, okay? Duke was hit. By Brunswick County Sheriff's Department that took him off the road, okay? They intentionally hit Duke. 
Okay? The sheriff's department want you to believe that he lost control of his vehicle and that he hit somebody else. That is not true. Family members of the people that got hit also stated that the police ran Duke into them. They intentionally hit him. OK, they tried to kill him. They tried to say that he was doing a drug deal, which was not true. They had no probable cause to start chasing him. And they knew that when he got to his mother house, Miss Becky LaSalle house, they knew that there was nothing that they could have arrested him on. OK, so what they had to do was they had to kill him while they could. They had to stop him because they knew that his whole family would have known that it was nothing more than harassment and stalking like it has been the last couple of years by this department. That's all it has been. No, don't at them. Tag them. I need everybody to tag the United States Department of Justice. There you go right there. Tag them. Don't you got to tag them. You got to at and tag them. When you see their name pop up, you got to click it. You got to tag them. You got to tag them because this is the matter of the truth. Everybody, I have received over 40 messages from people that have been discriminated against, that have been harassed, that have been falsely arrested, that have been uh, illegal, uh, 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 falsely detained by the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department. And so what we're about to do is we are going to turn all of those complaints that you all have sent to me to complaints to the Department of Justice, the FBI, OK, to the to the to the attorney general in D.C. OK, that's what all of those complaints, because, see, this is the problem. The Brunswick County Sheriff's Department has a problem with black folk. OK, just like uh, 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 those white police officers quit in killing North Carolina over that town manager, baby, you buddy, you, you buddy glad they, 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 they all quit down there in Brunswick County. They have an issue with black folk. They don't like black folk down there. OK, so they knew. OK, let me tell you this. They say. You know, undercover cars in Brunswick County don't have no dash cam video footage or no body cam footage. You know, they purposely put a undercover car with no body, with no camera, you know, in it to chase him because they wanted to kill him. They wanted to run him off the road. They knew that he was not going to stop because he knew that they have been harassing him. They have been stalking him. They have been holding him, him and him up against cars. They have been searching his car and have never found anything. He knew. Duke knew. Duke knew that if he stopped, it was nothing but harassment. He had to get home to his mom, to his family, so somebody could record, so somebody could witness, so 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 somebody could see, so he could live again. They purposely put a car that did not have a dash cam in it behind him. OK, since they say, well, you know, the, the, the undercover cars don't have no body cam for it. So they purposely put a car that they have no camera to capture that murder, to capture what they were doing. So you mean to tell me cops in Brunswick County and undercover cars can 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 have a vendetta out against somebody, can get behind them, put their lights and sirens on or no lights and sirens on, but follow somebody all over town, harass people, run them off the road, kill them, try to say they ran themselves off the road and we can't see what really happened. So all we have is what the fucking police said happened. No. No, 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 no. Everybody tag the United States of the Department of Justice. Tag them right now at Simba. So, so that's what we're doing. Because the truth of the matter is, if y'all was trying to pull him over, if y'all was scaling him and watching him and surveilling him like y'all was well, surveilling, if y'all was doing surveillance on him like y'all said you was, why didn't you wait until a cop car that had a dash cam a camera inside of it before you started a high speed chase. Before you started a chase, you purposely put a car behind him because it would not record what y'all was about to do. And Joe Cherry had just told him earlier in the week that he was going to hang him after the narcotics department of Brunswick County Sheriff's Department filed frivolous charges against Tyrus Duke Benbo. And he went to court and got him dismissed. And when he left court after they got dismissed, Joe Cherry said, boy, I'm going to hang you. 
So y'all purposely did this. I've seen the incident report. I've seen the diagram. You cannot tell. If I sh I'm not going to show y'all the diagram right now, but it's you can pull it up if you want to. But when you look at the diagram, it clearly shows that the officer hit him. The way they explain how he went off the road, it's not possible because had had Duke went off the road like they said he did at the speed they said he was going, he would have went over to the RV park and went into the woods. There's no way. So they are trying to cover it up. But what I'm about to tell y'all is really going to hurt your feelings. And I really I had to get permission from the mom, get permission from the attorney to say this because I just wasn't going to be disrespectful and say this. OK, let me tell y'all this. Y'all didn't know this, but you know. You know, they took Duke organs and we don't know where they are. OK, I'm going to let that resonate. Right. They took all of his organs out, all of his or they took all of his organs out. Didn't get permission from his mom, didn't call her. He wasn't a door. He wasn't an uh, organ donor. We don't know where his organs are. The lawyers don't know. The mom don't know. They took all of his organs and they took his brain. They took his organs. They took his brain. They said that they said that uh, the sheriff in a press conference said that he was thrown out of a vehicle and the car was on top of him. But when you look at his body, it don't seem like that he was smushed. It don't, how is a person, I don't understand how a person goes 70 to 100 miles per hour, get ejected from a vehicle, and um, the vehicle land on him. I, wouldn't you think that if he was going that high eye rate of speed, that when he had impact, that if he was ejected, it would have flew him into the woods or it would have flew him airborne somewhere else. You know, the, the, the story, without me giving too much, the story just don't add up. So what y'all need to do is I need y'all to tag the, the Justice Department, okay? They, listen, if you don't think that the medical examiners conspire with uh, the police, they do. That's what they go off of. They go off of what the police tell them. They go off of what the police tell them and they then conduct their examination and see if it corresponds or corroborate with the police. Tell them. They, they have this power. See, when stuff like this happen, they have the power, the, the police have the power to go threaten witnesses as the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department has been doing. They, they have been doing. They, they have the power to tell them, delete the video. They have power to go and say, you know, don't talk to nobody if it ain't us don't talk to nobody or you're going to jail see they lie and they try to threaten people to make it seem like that if they do something that's totally uh, uh, totally lawful and totally their right that they will go to jail because people are ignorant of the law and when you don't know your rights you have no rights so it's so easy for you to succumb to the police saying if you show this video to anybody we gonna lock your ass up if you talk to anybody, we going to lock your ass up. Knowing damn well, Brunswick County Sheriff's Department, that you can't lock nobody up for who they choose to share video with. You can't do it. It's not illegal. What is illegal is how y'all harass Duke for so many years. What's illegal is how y'all frivolously charged him with crimes that got dismissed by the DA. The DA said, we can't, we ain't got no evidence. Where's the evidence? Y'all just charged him because y'all wanted to, 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 to create a smear campaign, just like Sheriff John Ingram did at the press conference. You tried to make it seem like he was this drug dealer and I proved your ass wrong. You said that you made several buys. Where is it in the court record? Why didn't you arrest him? You said you found cocaine in the car. Where's the cocaine? See, when you don't have camera footage to show any of the shit, you can just say anything. And these racist ass white people that have Confederate flags, which I should set them all on damn fire. You know, you see, when you take, they believe anything. They got their head so far up your ass. And anything you say, they'll do it. They'll believe it. But you don't want to tell nobody about your fare you've been having on your wife. But see, that's what I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell it.
You don't want to tell, you don't want to tell these people that y'all plant stuff on people doing traffic stops when you detain them and put them in front of your patrol car, do you? You don't tell them that when you claim you're going to search the car and all of a sudden you come back and it ain't nothing. You know, when when when, when you search their car, they know they ain't have nothing in their car. Legitimately didn't have nothing in their car. They come back, oh, you being charged with it. What you done put something in there? It's so sad that y'all motherfuckers got to do everything you can to get a promotion to the point that you got to harass people and you got to plant stuff on people. Because I guarantee you, once this is all said and done, everybody that's tied to a Joe Cherry investigation, to anybody in our investigation, is going to be all thrown out. Because the information that I have been receiving about the corruption in the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department uh, office, it wants the FBI to come down to Brunswick County, North Carolina and to investigate Sheriff John Ingram and the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department for racial discrimination, for targeting black people with no pulling people over, with no legal reason, falsifying documents, planting drugs on people, seizing people homes and, and, and taking people property with no court orders. This is what they have been doing. The, the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office intentionally killed Duke. And they are trying to cover it up. They are trying to cover it up and we are not going to let them. So we going, what we're going to do. Everybody in Brunswick County, let me put this, this mic on, God damn it. Everybody in Brunswick County, North Carolina, we are going to file complaints. I, if it's 50 of y'all, every 51 of y'all, we're about to file a complaint. Everybody individually going to have their own complaint that they are going to file against the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department. And it's going to Washington, D.C. so that the Department of Justice can come down to Brunswick County and open a investigation into the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office. And I guarantee you, by the end of the investigation or at the conclusion of the investigation, Investigation, that there would be racial discrimination. There would be so many laws that they have broken. You mean to tell me that I can't be somewhere and shake my friend hand without you thinking it's a drug deal? You had no probable cause to pull me over in the first place because you was not certain according to to Sheriff John, you was not certain your deputies, your narcotic officers were not certain that what you saw was what it was. Because in your words, see, the, I don't let your words testify against you. See, you said what it appears. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes things can look like an illusion and it's not what you, what it looked like it is. See, see, what, well, see, you messed up when you said something up. Here. See, you didn't have probable cause. You didn't see anything. Uh, something appearing to be something is not probable cause. No, 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 no. That's not probable cause. Mm -hmm. That's just something. That's just a narrative that y'all came up with to try to justify your unlawful traffic stop. How in the hell you going to initiate a traffic stop and ain't done nothing? What you just because you the police don't mean you can just pull people over because you want to pull them over. You got to have a reason to pull somebody over. What's your reason? What's your reason? Because I'm black. I got dreads. I'm black. You know, I keep beating y'all in court. What is it? What is it? Y'all ran him off the road. Y'all killed. Duke, that's who did it. The Brunswick County Sheriff's Department did it, y'all. And they trying to cover it up. That they did it. That's why we have filed for your requests to get the to get the radio traffic communications. I want to hear what the officers were saying to each other and the dispatch at the time that this wreck was going. I want the, the radio communications and I don't want them to be redacted because if they are redacted, then I'm going to a superior court judge and file a civil suit against the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office to get it. Because in the state of North Carolina, under the public records 
law, radio traffic communication by any employee of the government or officer is public property, meaning that it's ours. Okay. Where is this patrol car? Y'all want to make it seem like that, that, that Duke just hit another lost control and hit another car. No, 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 no. Y'all hit him and y'all now hide in the patrol car, but it's public record to get documents of y'all spending money to fix any car damage done to any county government. All that stuff is public records. So you think that you're trying to hide something, but you're not. Because as soon as the filings hit the court, you're going to have to turn over everything. So y'all thought when we left the funeral, when we left the funeral, y'all thought when we left, you know, laying this king to rest because he was a king. Uh -huh. He might not have been no king to y'all people, to y'all kind, but he was a king to the people in Brunswick County. He was a king because he did king things. He was respected. And the truth of the matter is supply North Carolina, Bolivia, North Carolina. I don't know who got to do it. Y'all should really make July. Y'all should really make July 8th Duke Day down there. Anyway, that's what y'all really need to do, because so many people, white, black, Asian, whoever, Teachers, everybody loved this young man and he had an impact on people. His smile was contagious. He made everybody smile. But when the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department could not get what they were, when they thought they had something on them, he couldn't make them smile. They was mad. Even when they, they charged him with these frivolous stuff, he still had a smile on his face because he knew God was going to get him out of it. And God got him out of it. The judge, this, the, the, the DA dismissed it because they didn't have nothing. You know, y'all was the only ones that he didn't make smile. Because he wasn't going to work for you. He wasn't going to do your dirty deeds. He wasn't going to give you no information. He wasn't going to do none of that. Kings don't do that. Don't do that. They don't do that. July 8th should be Duke Day down there in Brunswick County, Supply, North Carolina, Bolivia, North Carolina. That's the mayor. I don't know who the mayor is. We're going to get a proclamation wrote up because that's what y'all should do. Y'all should respect him. That's what it is. Respect him because you killed him. You ran him off the road. And we got every reason to believe that you drug him out and you suffocated him. His body didn't even look like what you explained it. Baby, that man would have been smushed. He would have been smushed like this. He would have been smushed. No. No. Yeah, he was ejected all right. Yeah, he was ejected all right. Because everything you did, you planned it out. This was an organized murder by the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department. It was organized. They've been planning this for years. They knew that they had to try to stop him some way. They tried everything they could. He wasn't going to never let you get him by himself. Because if he would have, if he would have, Y'all would have planted something on him a long time ago. And he wasn't, he wasn't crazy. He wasn't no fool. He wasn't going to stop until he got to his people's house. And y'all didn't want him to get there. When he was on what's the road? Red Bug Road. And how is it that he was on what is the name? Red Bug Road? Red Bug Road? How is it that he was on that? That very windy, very, very crazy road. And then lose control then. You mean to tell me throughout this whole chase from Grissom Town where y'all say he was coming from, 15 minutes from where y'all way he ended up at that, at no time did he lose control, at no time did he, you know, at no point, it was when he got on Holy Beach Road, that straight away that, you know. Oh, it's because the officer would have probably killed his damn self trying to trying to run him off the road. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, so the, oh, is that what it was? So when you got on straight away, you just went ahead and said, you know what? And you know, you did what you did. I would hope that the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office had body cam footage, body cam uh, on. We want to see the body cam footage. We want to see the body cam footage. Sheriff John Ingram, how can you say, how can you say 
that this what really happened. If it's true that your car is down there in, in Brunswick County, undercover cars don't have dash cam footages. So you mean to tell me that your office can put people on high speed chases, beat them, kill them, drag them out of cars, and do everything wrong and illegal. And the family and the public have no way of believing the side that your officers tell you. Hey, Miss Becky, you want us to believe. You want us to believe. You want us to believe that this king lost control of his vehicle. We don't buy it today. We don't buy it tomorrow. We didn't buy it on July 8th. And we definitely ain't buying it for the future. Let me say this. Y'all didn't even have the audacity. Y'all didn't have the respect to even call Miss Becky. Y'all didn't even have the, the respect to call her, to tell her that her son had just been involved in an accident. When was y'all going to call and tell her? You wasn't. Because you had to scramble and find a way to cover it all up. That's why you didn't let her see him for a week. More than a week. That's why when she got to the hospital, y'all kept telling her, okay, get you some people. We about to let y'all kept telling her this and kept telling her that. Y'all ain't y'all, y'all ain't y'all wasn't respectful. So why should I sit up here and not cuss y'all ass out? Y'all weren't respectful to Miss Becky. Y'all didn't let her see her child. To just what Saturday, what this recent, this recent weekend, this happened in, on July eighth. Y'all didn't let her see her baby. Y'all didn't want her to see her baby. Cause if you did, you would have let him come home. You would have let him made it home. If I'm driving, I'm gonna tell you right now. If I'm driving and I'm on my way to my home, why am I going? Listen, if I'm in my car. And the police get behind me and I decide not to stop. And I say, Ma, the police behind me, bro, dad, police behind me, sis, baby, the police behind me. I ain't stopping until I get home. And I'm right down the street. What I'm going 100 miles per hour for? What I'm, what I'm rushing for? I'm just not going to goddamn stop until I get home. Y'all, it's going to be 100, it's going to be 100 of y'all behind me. And if y'all say like you say, you say that it was only one car. How, how is it? It was only one car. One officer chased them all the way from there. I mean, for 15 minutes, one officer, one officer chased them from Grissentown all the way to Holder Beach Road for 15 minutes and no other officers came. No other officer responded. I'm confused. Y'all got to help me understand because this shit does not make sense to me. You have to make it make. It don't make sense. But what Duke said Thursday, July 7th, what's done in the dark going to come to the light. And see, sometimes you ain't got to say you. Sometimes you ain't got to do nothing. All you got to do is just sit back and see the hand of God move. Because see, God in this situation. And see, Duke sure enough going to help us now. Because his spirit going to hunt the hell out of y'all. Uh -huh. His spirit, everybody that knows something that ain't saying nothing, his spirit gonna hunt you. He gonna hunt you. That same robe, that same white suit that he had on in his beautiful casket, you gonna see him walk in your bedroom. He gonna hunt you. He gonna hunt you. He gonna hunt you, and he's gonna scare the living. Lady. And you are gonna be called. I got this. You shoulda. Don't let the police. Don't let the police stop you. Don't let the police scare you. But when people, but when people want to come to town, y'all scared. Y'all scared. The police scared. What you scared for? We we scared of you. You the one shooting us. You the one killing us. You the one following us. 
You the one setting up roadblocks. You the one setting up roadblocks down the street from the family house because you're stalking them. Because you know they're celebrating his life and you want to catch somebody uh, doing something when they leave. That's the type of shit the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department been on, y'all. They've been fucking with this family and won't leave them alone. That's what they have been doing. That's what they have been on. He gonna hunt you. He gonna hunt you. He gonna hunt you. I'm telling you. He gonna hunt you. I was, um, last night, um, last night, I was laying down and I'm a very, I'm a, I'm a very spiritual person. I was laying down and all I kept hearing Duke say to me was, Gerald, tell my story. Tell what they did to me. Don't let them get away. I have never, anybody that has been following me, I've been doing this thing since 2015. Anybody that has been following me. Every time I do a story, every time I write a story, you know, my, 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 my mentor, he tells me, don't get emotional. Don't, you know, but this story, this story has touched me like no other. I have never in my life been so invested in my, my soul and my spirit and my, my energy in a story. This story, I don't even look at this as a press. Because I'm an activist as well. I don't even, I, I, I'm not coming as a press member. I mean, I have this platform because I can come and say what I need to say. But in this case, I'm an activist. And we're going to get justice. The truth is going to come out. But this is the problem. Everybody already knows the truth. Why is this? That the sheriff think he can just throw rocks and hide his hand. He thought that he could discredit a king. A king that was a high school graduate. A king that was a man that worked. A king that everybody loved. Hmm. And you tried to make him another statistic but it didn't work. It did not work. It did not work. You did everything that you could. You tried everything. To get him. It did not work. It kept getting dismissed. It kept getting thrown out. DA kept throwing it out. So you had to kill him. You wanted him so bad. Until you got him. But you will be held accountable. You will be held accountable. Justice will be served. I need everybody right now, as I said earlier, to tag the Department of the United States Justice Department. And I encourage the mayor in Bolivia, Supply, North Carolina, Wherever you need to do a Brunswick County, that July 8th is Duke Day. That's what it should be. That community should honor him. Honor him. The community should honor him. Because he was a king. He brought so many people together. And y'all tried to stop it. You tried to divide it. The Brunswick County Sheriff's Office tried to divide it, but they could not divide it. They thought. That we was going to let it go. Oh, the funeral is tomorrow. Well, we don't know. Yes, they ain't. No. We've been moving in silence, dog. <laughs> we moving in silence. We ain't going to tell everything. We ain't going to come out here and tell everything, bruh, bruh. We moving in silence, dog. Y'all thought. No. It ain't over. It ain't over. It ain't over. It is not over. It ain't over. It's 
not over. Fuck the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office. That part. That way. It ain't over. It ain't over until God says it over. When God says it's over, then it's over. It ain't over. Because, see, Duke fought a good fight. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He fought a good fight. Mm-hmm. Yes, he did. He kept the faith. Yeah, he did. Uh-huh. He didn't give up. He fought a good fight. But you know what? With his help, we're going to fight one, too. Because everybody going to be held responsible. It ain't over. It ain't going to never be over. Exactly. They're not going to be satisfied till we start marching. But see, this is the thing. This is the thing. I just don't understand why Sheriff Ingram got up there. Y'all, my niece and nephew over here. Y'all excuse him in the background. I don't know why Sheriff Ingram got up on that damn stand at that damn sad ass uh, press conference and told all them bunch of lies. Lies, lies, lies. Told all them bunch of lies. Told all them damn lies. And can't even keep up with them lies. Can't even keep up with them lies. Told all them lies. Said this. Said that. Did this. And he did that. Stop lying. You cheating on your damn wife. You a liar. How you gonna get up in front of a county... And tell people what happened. And you won't even tell your damn wife. That you sticking your. Mm, in another whore. But don't nobody want to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Oh we're going to talk about it. You don't want to talk about that do you? You want to talk about what. You want to talk about somebody you kill. That's what you want to do. But you don't want to talk about what's going on in Brunswick County. I'm the Brunswick County Sheriff's one worst enemy. <laughs> Show is every damn thing that's corrupting. I'm about to expose it. I ain't going to expose it. I'm going to expose it. But don't nobody want to talk about that. Nobody want to talk about that. You ain't going to be satisfied till we start marching, taking them streets. Because it's our streets. It ain't your streets. It's our streets. We run them streets. The people of Brunswick County pay you. Okay? They're the constituents. You don't run nothing. You don't run nothing. Them our streets. But see, that's what they... They ain't gonna be satisfied until we take them streets. That's what it... That, see, they ain't gonna be satisfied until we do that. So, Brunswick, we asking for the FBI, the Department of Justice, to come down here and to open up an investigation into the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office and their harassment that led to the death of Tyrants Draquan Benbo. They killed him. They intentionally did it. And they're trying to cover it up. Where is Duke's organs? Where is his organs? Where is his organs? You did not call his mother. You didn't ask her if, if they could be donated. You put them somewhere and we don't know. Where are they? Why weren't they in here, given back? Why weren't they put back in here? Where are they? What did y'all do with it? Why you didn't call his mother and get permission? He wasn't a organ owner. Where are they at? Where are his organs? Is that the reason why? Who, who, who has a wreck and die in it? And the, the mother, the next of kin, the mother can't even see her baby. Her son. Her son. Her son. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Y'all took his organs. Y'all took his organs. And we don't know where they are. Our attorneys don't know where they are. Miss Becky don't know where they are. Family don't know where are they. Why did y'all? Where are they? Where's his shoes? Where's his wallet? Where are they? Where are they? How is it blood on his underwears? But the pants he had on 
has faint blood on it and there's no blood on the white tag. It's so many things that does not make sense. This is the most corrupt case in a car accident. In a car, a car accident. Where is the patrol vehicle that ran Tyrese Draquan Bimbo off the road? And the thing about it, where is it? Where is it at? Why y'all hiding it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's his organs at? How could y'all do this family like that? Y'all didn't let Miss Becky see her baby. She just recently saw him this past weekend. I think, if I'm not mistaken, a day before? Or maybe that Friday or Saturday? But from July 8th, y'all had police officers up there at the hospital waiting on them before they got there trying to block block the entrance of the hospital even if they had even if they had someone else in there to see y'all tried to block them from going in there everything that y'all did after this shows that this family and everybody in Brunswick County knew y'all been messing with this dude. So y'all knew how the family was coming. Y'all knew how his friends was coming. Y'all knew how the community was coming. They weren't going to let Miss Becky go up there by herself. They was 10 toes down with her. With him, with Duke, and with his family. Y'all knew it. So y'all tried to cover your asses. But I came to serve notice to your devil. That if God be for this family, can't nobody be against them. If God be for Duke, he's more than the world against him. You're not going to keep sweeping this under the rug because you're too weak. You're too weak of a department. You're too weak. And then I piss you off so bad that you had to do a press conference talking about these bloggers. Yeah, I'm a blogger. Spell it B-L, not no B-L-O-G-G-E-R, B-L-A-W-G-E-R, blogger. That's what I am, a blogger. That's what I am, uh -huh, I'm a blogger. First Amendment constitutional right, yes sir. Accredited it, accredited blogger. Yeah, 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 a journalist. That's what I am, a journalist, uh, uh, you know. I ain't like them, them, them jelly backs and them weak media people that sat in your press conference. You know, a bunch of Karens and a bunch of Bobs and Joe Bobs and a bunch of nobodies and a bunch of people that don't want the truth and a bunch of people that want to report one side of the story. You know, I ain't none of them. I ain't none of them. You can't piss on my head and tell me it's raining. No, 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 no. I ain't none of them. No, 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 no. And you better be lucky I went in the press conference because I would have challenged everything that you said because it was nothing but a lie. That's all it was. Mm -hmm. That's all it was. I ain't none of them. You know, they don't want to tell the truth. They want to push y'all narrative. But I'm going to push the truth. Duke me, told me. His spirit told me, I heard him. He said, Gerald, don't let them get away with what they did to me. Tell my story. Tell my story. I'm going to tell his story. Let y'all get away with this. But to y'all, to the poli, to the to Sheriff Ingram, he going to hunt you. 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 He's going to hunt you. And he going to come in that white purified robe, suit he had on. And he going to walk right in y'all bedroom. And he going to hunt you. You think I'm playing? I'm not playing. Go hunt you. I'm telling you. If you think I'm playing. <laughs> if you think I'm playing, he going to hunt you. That's why that pastor said up there, that service, if you don't know God, you better come on up here and get him. Because he going to hunt you. Anybody that knows something that don't want to tell this family, he going to hunt you. Duke going to hunt you. I'm telling you what I know. I ain't telling you that I heard. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I know. Because you know what they did was wrong. 
You know what they did was wrong. They gonna hunt you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He gonna come with a smile too. Just like he was when you saw him in person. He'll come with a smile. You ain't gonna be able to get no rest. I pray God don't let you get no rest until you come forward. I pray he don't let you get. I, anybody that knows something. That won't come for, I pray God don't let you get no rest. And I'm not saying that I know anybody that knows something that, that hasn't said anything. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is just, if you know something, come help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. Help this family. Help us. That's all I'm asking. Because what the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department has did, y'all, is nothing but murder. And it's happened on Sheriff Ingram's watch. And he ran to a press conference trying to cover it up. Because he knew that them jellyback media people would sit in there and report every lie he told. The mother didn't give no consent for an autopsy. Research says that if an autopsy is done without the mother, father, family consent, then it's because the individual's death is suspicious. This autopsy, we know this was a suspicious death. And a lot of times that can be good for the family. That if a car accident happened or when an autopsy is done without the family's consent, something suspicious happened. We know it's suspicious. What y'all do with his organs? You took everything out and you took his... You took everything out and you did not even get permission. You didn't get consent. Y'all didn't know this. So, this is what I need y'all to do. And I need y'all to hear me. Because I'm about to put my email up here, okay? This is what I need y'all to do, seriously. Please. We need to get the FBI down here. The uh, Miss Becky's attorneys handling everything else, but I need y'all. We, 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 we can't let this happen again, okay? This is what I need y'all to do. I'm pinning my email up here. If you are in Brunswick County, listen, because we're going to do something and I want to do it all together so that people don't get confused about anything. OK, I pinned my email right there. OK, because this is what I need from you all. I need everybody. If you know somebody, if you uh, uh, if you are that person, I need you to email me if you have been in Brunswick County and you know somebody that's been racially discriminated against, if you know somebody that's been illegally uh, illegally arrested, illegally stopped, if you know somebody that's been harassed, I need y'all to email that to me. I need your full name and I need what happened, okay? Because I'm going to get everybody emailed together, okay? And we're going to get on a Zoom call. Okay, and we're going to get I'm going to we're going to get the form for the Justice Department and everybody individually with your story is going to fill out a complaint to the Department of Justice. Okay, and we're going to send it to the FBI. We, we need at least 50, at least 50. We don't want no frivolous reports. We need people with real stories, people that have real legitimate complaints that has been going on at the Brunswick County Sheriff's Board. Because, see, they try to think that because they put it up on their department that, oh, if you have a complaint, you want to complain. Motherfucker, it's in-house. You think I'm going to sit here and send Sheriff Ingram a complaint about what one of his officers did to me and I'm black? <laughs> you really think he's going to... That man finna sit back and say, delete, delete. He don't give a damn about no damn complaint. 
But the just the just uh, Department of Justice can come down here and invest open up an investigation into him. So I need everybody to listen. I'm gonna give everybody a, a couple of days, okay? At least till Friday. Listen, I need you all to take my email. Make sure that's the right email. That's the right email. Take my email, and I need you all who have legitimate complaints against the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department, and I need you all to email me, okay? Because we are going to file a complaint against the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department, okay, with the Department of Justice, okay? Because there needs to be an investigation into, okay, what happened to Duke, their harassment into Duke. They need to find out why the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department continue to charge Duke with charges that would not stick, that the DA will later dismiss. They need to, uh, 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 they need to investigate and find out if there are more black people. That the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department is racially profiling and racially discriminating against and pulling them over without legal cause, with no legal purpose. And if you're white and you have a complaint and they're harassing you and they're discriminating against you, you too, you too, send it. Please, I'm asking you, send it. Please send it. It's people in the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office, in the Sheriff Brunswick County Sheriff, Brunswick County Jail that have been discriminated against in their medication. That are not getting fed. Families are calling saying that these these officers, these jailers are retaliating against them when they file grievances. All of this stuff is going on in the Brunswick County Jail. There's so much stuff going on in Brunswick County. And it's people that are crying for help. And they don't have a pen. And some of them have a pen and paper, but they don't know how to begin. They don't know how to start. So they're calling on us to help them. And we must help them. We must help them. We must help Duke. Why y'all wouldn't leave him alone? We ain't gonna get over this. We're gonna get through it. And we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight till we can't fight no more. We're gonna fight until we can't fight no more. We're gonna fight until Sheriff Ingram steps down as the Sheriff of Brunswick County. We're gonna fight until officers who have committed crimes in the Brunswick County Sheriff's Department is, is charged and convicted. We are going to fight until the truth comes out about what really happened. We're going to fight and we ain't going to stop fighting. If you don't want to fight, don't come on the live. If you don't want to fight, go on. If you don't want to fight, we need fighters over here. We need fighters over here. We need fighters over here. We need people that's going to fight. We need people that's going to put on some shoes. And when we say, let's meet up here because we finna march, we need people that's going to do it. We understand y'all got jobs. We understand that. And we want you to go to work. But when you free and, and, and it's on a day that we marching, we want you to be out there. Bring the coolest. Bring everything. Everything. Bring everybody out there. We're going to fight. And we're going to hold each other arms up. We're going to hold this family arm up. We got to make it make sense. Yes, we got to make it make sense. We got to make it make sense. Because it don't make sense. It don't add up. The story just don't add How can anybody in Brunswick County sleep at a time like this? How can you go to bed at night knowing that it could have been your child? Some of us can't even imagine what this family is going to bed thinking about. What this mother is going to bed. What? And when we get tired, tag me. You take a break. 
Tag me. I'm in. What you need me to do, Miss Becky? What you need me to do? What y'all need me to do? What y'all what y'all need me to do? You hear it? Take you some rest. Tag me. I'm it. That's how it should be, y'all. We ain't gonna give up. We got to fight. It's more stuff that I can't, I'm not gonna share over here. Um, because th things will, you know, soon be going into, you know, other uh legal realms. So I can't, I'm not gonna discuss that, but I wanted to get up here because I wanted to do this because I wanted us to call. This is a call to action. And tomorrow or the next day, we're gonna have another call to action. We're gonna blow up the sheriff's department. And I ain't talking about literally blow up, call them. We're going to call them on the phone. We're going to call them. We're going to run their line busy. They won't even have no work to do. We're going to email them. We're going to stop the flow of email. You ain't going to get no work done. Because every email you see is going to be about tyrants, Traquan, Benbo. Period.